play at Goodrich mm -hmm. here tonight with the story of a San Jose high school student who probably can get into any college she wants after what she just did. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sarah, her name is Caitlin Wang. She's a junior at the Harker School. There she is. She literally opened a whole new world of possibilities for NASA. So this is super complex, but I'm gonna try the best I can <laughs> to explain it, okay? So basically she's 17 years old and get this, she found a new planet, mm. but it was the way she found it that earned her $75,000 top prize at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Here it is. From San Jose, California, Caitlin Wang. So Caitlin tells us in her very down to earth way, she found an efficient method to identify certain planets that orbit very closely around their host stars. She also found the smallest one of these planets ever discovered using a special algorithm that she created on her own home computer right there. And get this, the algorithm runs on cheap hardware and results in much faster and more precise discoveries, which is why NASA would like to speak with her. What I did was I built a new exoplanet detection system that runs 120 times faster than previous methods. And it's just using like a cheap GPU card. So that means that like pretty much anyone can uh, use this GPU card at home or in a classroom to conduct exoplanet discovery on their own. I found uh, three new discoveries and uh, I think they're pretty cute. Like one of them is the smallest uh, USP ever discovered. So um, that's really exciting. I would like to remind you, she is 17, and she beat out 1,600 other young scientists at the world's largest STEM competition for teens. She's adorable. She's down to earth. Okay, so let's bring in Paul. We're all we're gonna, gonna work for her. We're yeah. all gonna work for her someday. Yeah. You're our science guy. What exactly mm -hmm. did she find? Okay, so she found an exoplanet. If we switch over to the weather graphics, I've okay. got a picture that we can pop up in the video wall here of what we have a picture of an right. exoplanet. Okay, apparently we can't do that, so we're going to have our time bringing in our 3D graphics as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, we do have 3D. Let's see if we can bring it in. Oh, oh perfect. Okay. 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 So we do have actual pictures Am from I in the, the James Webb right, telescope. You can stand behind it. You're fine. Okay. Okay. So, say, <laughs> there's it's a not going to hurt you, Jules. Yes, it's not going to burn you. You can. Stand, this is the star you can stand close to. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. there's a star with a planet around it. Right. Okay. We want to know exactly how many of those planets are out there. Yeah. The only way we can actually tell without getting a picture, which is something within the just the past 12 months, is by measuring how much the star dims whenever the planet then rotates around in front of it. So we can see that from Earth by just how much the star fades, by just a tiny little bit. That's actually what she's probably got displayed there on yeah. the monitor. But you can only see that if the star actually is dimmed by the planet as it goes right in front. So if it orbits oh. this way, you're not going to see it. There are about 10,000 of these planets that have been discovered so far. Not all have been confirmed. Mm -hmm. There are about 200 billion stars in the Milky Way. There are about 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. So there are about 40,000 billion billion different stars that we can observe through some form of their evolution and find out if there's planets. And when so I she's even, got plenty of targets is what I'm saying. She does. And when I mentioned it to you, you said she's pretty bad. Yeah. You know what? I mean, she's, she's really smart. This she's is really smart. Really, anything you can kind of improve on what NASA, yeah, and yeah. JPL are already they're, doing. They're, they're, you know, good job. They're calling her anyway. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Exactly. So, so we'll what, take the yeah. star and the planet out of the way there. I mean, too much math for either one of us for <laughs> sure. Uh, but what's next for Caitlin aside from all of the scholarships? Yeah. So listen to this. This just brings it back home. She loves boba tea. She <laughs> says all of her friends used to buy her that, and now they're like, um, you need to uh, buy Contribute. us. You're buying us the next round. She also says she's going to publish her research and share the algorithm with all of us down the road. So stay tuned and congratulations to her. Yeah, all right. Very well earned.